Okay, hello and welcome. How are you doing, my friend? Next, I am planning to show you an uh, show you idea that how to do fire with wooden locks, and this is like special troops way, and this is useful if you live in like like in this um, countryside and especially in winter time when we have these uh, cool weathers and we need to do this fire. And this is also useful if you uh, live in like like in some some area where is uh, where is need to do fire fireplace. And here is my list what we need to do and this is by the way this is like uh, I have learned that my friend who is uh, working in this army and he is like special special troops uh, uh, this officer and he trains soldiers how they can live in in this uh, this uh, outside without any any home or cottage and he 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 teach me that how to do this fire with wooden locks every 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 day this works this is really excellent way and what we need first that we can do this fire we need first we need to find if we have chance those dry wood locks like this fire fire foods this is the first step and second is that we need to uh, get or we need to do small this wood locks and small pieces in this fire foods because we need those small part particles and parts and third thing is that that uh, we need also this wooden locks this outer cover parts what is this uh, a small tin material or thin paper when we start this fire and first fourth thing is of course that we need matchbox and matchsticks or then this lighter that we can get this fire. And then we go to look first this dry food locks because if we we don't have this dry food locks then we need to use this uh, uh, wet uh, wood locks and then this this wire making is 100 times difficult but it is also possible but that's we need to find first this dry food locks and small parts and then this food locks cover parts and then matchsticks and then when we go to search those we can then continue that I, I saw that what is the idea that how I insert these wooden locks and then I take my pencil and five parts is the the this uh, that that how in what what way we insert this uh, these locks those uh, locks wooden wooden locks positions positions in fire place fire this is important remember this is maybe the most important thing that when we are doing this <coughs> fire that how we insert these things because it is critical okay and then then we continue and we go to look those dry wood woods fire foods next okay and now when we are looking these uh, dry wooden locks can we use these when there is water and these uh, small woods the answer is no because these are full wet and we can't take those and then can we use some of these fresh fresh these uh, these things like this my dog is using the answer is no and we need to then find those dry foods in some place okay and here we have these dry foods 
now I found this and dry food is normally this uh, food and lock what is in in it is it is dry and how I can know that this is dry there is easy way when I take this my my this food and lock and then when I hit that and if this keeps like this sound clicking sound that means that it is dry and now I have in here this dry food and then there was also thing that that I need small parts of this food and lock and here we have these are quite small and they are good and then especially that kind of small wooden locks but are sides like my finger this is excellent because and then there was this first thing that actually I take my paper that what I write down that we need to find we need to find dry wood locks here we have this these are excellent and then uh, small food locks there's also these small parts especially this area this is good and then small cover parts of wood locks or paper and now I am meaning this this is the this is the cover part that one this is the cover part of wooden locks and this is the best thing if we have we can get that kind of stuff in our wooden locks in this way and we need to collect that kind of pieces something like 10 pieces because this is the best fire starting material and of course this must be also <sighs> dry and then then we continue Okay, and then here I have a little bit bigger wood locks and can I use that kind of wooden locks for this my fireplace? <coughs> the answer is no, because this is too big and I can't handle this amount of wooden locks if we compare in my food, this is too big because they, these parts must be small and this is idea. Okay, and this is too big and that one is also too big okay but in here I was so lucky that I had a lot of these uh, wooden locks and someone has been made these for to myself and I'm very happy because there is this wooden locks small cottage and I can take my wooden locks in that area and and then we go to to do this fire next. I call it, I take these parts with my back back. Okay, and then <clears throat> when we are doing this fire, we need some fireplace. And here I have one this brick made fireplace. What works so that when I open this metal metallic doors in here that way I can insert my wooden locks in inside this area in this oven and in that area I can set up this my fire or then we can if we are in outside we can insert this fire in ground ground or some sand basement or rocks Okay, and then when I start to do this fire, I need to then look my fire woods, what are now in this my package. And first I need to select using this my, my list, those small woods, fire woods and small cover parts, because they are starting point and I start to select next those parts and it happens so that when I look in here I check this is too big firebox and this is also too big for fire starting and 
that one is also too big. But then, here, this is small pieces of firewood and, and this is suitable and now I insert that in that one in this little bit different area. They are in here, that I can see that, that there are those small parts and I actually insert these bigger parts in other side in here because they are then easily handled and in that area in here I will I will search more these small parts there are two parts and this is maybe almost little bit too big but I choose that and then <coughs> this is small fireworks pieces and then we can find these small wooden sticks in forest but are dry and then let's look this is too big the starting but then here is again small piece of that and, and that one is just suitable maybe a little bit too big but they are fine and then this is excellent and then that part is also excellent and now I have this <coughs> Uh, small wood locks, this number two, they are enough and then I need this small cover parts of locks or paper and now I am meaning that kind of thing what is this wooden locks cover and that I insert in here and we can get that kind of stuff that when we have this wooden lock like this bigger one and then I only take that out in that way. I can use my knife or my hand. This is this cover part and then I I try to take like in that way <coughs> this is the starting material in that way and I collect these parts like in here this is okay and then if we have this ready cover parts if this is very thick like that one. It is not so good because it this cover parts must be very thin. Thin is better and let's look there is again one part and in that part I can take this thin uh, wooden lock cover parts like in starting and here this is excellent because in that way when they are dry they are easy to take out this is excellent starting material in that way and any wood is suitable some of these woods are really easy to take this cover part I don't know why but they are easy and only by using hands and in here again and if we use our knife we can take more and then I have in here a little bit different food material and also in that part I can take this material but this is not so good because this is so thin this cover and then I have in here this also in different food food and lock and also in that material I can take in here but if this cover is very thin we can't take that much if we compare right in, in that, that wooden lock where we have this much more easier it's to take and, and now when I have that kind of wooden lock I need my knife that I can take this, this out in here and next I take my knife and I saw that how I can take that out Okay, and now I have knife in my hand and I can show that how we can take this if I, I have knife and that shape of wooden lock I, I move that my knife in this way and then I can take this cover parts in here and, and in that way it takes a little bit longer time and be carefully that you don't hit this knife in your finger because then we are in troubles but in, in here, I can 
like I try to take this cover, this cover part, okay, and 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 that way I I'm there and I do this crafts and here in this way, look, this is excellent, okay, and now I think that. I have these materials enough that we can go to insert those parts. Okay, and then, then when we have made those all things, we can go to look that we have match matchsticks, this matchsticks, and I have in here, I have here these matchsticks, and these are these things that we can. Set on this fire. This is matchstick, and look in that way. And when I do in that way, I have liked. <laughs> or then we, if we don't have this mat match matchsticks, we can use lighter also, or some other fire source. Okay, but next I saw that. How to insert these uh, wooden locks in this oven or then in this fireplace? And now we are in this position number five, wood lock positions in fireplace. This is very critical. Okay, and this happens so that first we have to get some clean area, and that means that we need to take all. All dirties and those black stuffs away. That there is ground or like in here, this cement basement in there, and and that this is good starting point. Okay, and this this fireplace installation starts so that we need to take this uh, thin small wooden parts. What we insert first one in this position. And then second one, what is in that shape, in in that area. And now they must be in straight forward in here. And then I take next this my wooden lock, and it goes in that way. Look. And then I leave in here small this area in the central area, and it is like ten ten centimeters or three or four inches. Is this four inches, four inches, that kind of amount? And there's my this small stick, and I broke that in that way. And this is very standard in our forest in that way. And then I had this little bit bigger part. It goes in there, but this outside must be clean in this way. And then that small part, and then. This small part, and then that small part, and then idea is that I insert in this central area. Then I had this small cover. This is all also this goes in outer. This small parts what I have in here. These parts what is this wool, fire foods cover parts? They goes in this central area in that way. Also in that way, and this is a little bit too big. I insert that in here, and then I have these small particles in here more, and these are this, and I insert those every all parts in their central, and this is this the idea of this how to do this fireworks always that it works, and. And then, when I have inserted those, I I need a couple of these, what are thin material, that they are like starting thing. Here is this material, and and I insert that in here, and then I take my matchsticks, and it is in here, and I I do this fire. In outside or in inside, and this is this material. What I first start in that way, and be carefully. It starts when it is dry, 
so easily and, and I do that this is like starting wire and keep that so that you don't hurt your fingers always that it is up or so that it is not ever that your hand is in her up always hand is in like down of this fire or side and then as we can see this my fireplace it, it automatically start to fire even that I send in here this small matchsticks and now when this fire is in that position I can start to add these logs and there is idea that when this fire is starting I need to add first this thin fireworks and always in that side two logs in this way in this way and then two in here and then when this fire is like this bigger we can start to add this bigger look this is bigger fireworks and the idea is that no no ever no ever in the starting point that side of locks because if we insert these huge locks what are like my hands then this fire don't start to keep fire and this is the trick that first we need small fireworks and small wooden parts when fire is small like in that side I saw that now this fire is quite big and what is small fire when I take this much stick this is small fire look this is small when we have small fire small wooden locks and then when big fire like in there now I can add in there bigger wooden locks and also again in same idea in that way and, and there is that wooden lock and then keep always this distance that there is air air distance between those locks this air dis distance means that there is like this air to move in here do not ever do that way that you insert all of those locks in that way because then we then we will dead this fire and that's I can take that out and insert in in this way and then I can add in there more locks and again this speaker and in that one in here and this fire is always going because the central is okay and then I can insert this bigger wooden locks in in here in that way and now we can see that how how well fire is going and always look that there must be space between of those and if we insert those really heavy these uh, locks this full of this uh, area it is difficult to do this fire and that's if we need more this fire we can use the smaller parts like in here and now when this we can also insert in that way when fire is going okay and that kind of information <coughs> that how to do own fireplace and this idea works outside and inside always 100% surely and this is guarantee and you can do that in also if there is rainy rainy day in outside and then then I start to enjoy my fire and thank you for watching and have a nice day to you